Listen to what your sheikh is saying. This was the same idiot that threw down the constitution of the zoo on the ground. Sheikh Gumi. They call him Sheikh. He is the leader of the terrorists and bandits. No, DSS hasn't invited him. This is the idiot that said it is clear. Uh, those killing terrorists are Christian soldiers, Christian Nigerian soldiers. And you're a Christian and you're still serving in the zoo. Can't you say there's something wrong with you? Let us listen to them and their and their friends on, on, on channels TV. Listen very carefully, please. Trace this bandit to their hideout and meet with them. Why Let's start again. Sheikh Gumi mm -hmm. is able to trace this bandit to their hideout and meet with them. Why is it difficult for the Nigerian intelligence community or the Nigerian military to be able to know where these bandits are? They know. They know. They know. The, the, the Nigerian army, they know. The police, they know. They know. The, the sheikh they appointed is telling you that the army, as a rock, know. They, they, uh, all of them, they know where the bandits are. But you did not arrest the bandits or put them in detention in Sulege. You came to Biafra land. Our governors are busy pointing, not governors, of course. This one is the Supreme Court administrator, pointing at people to, to be arrested. And I don't, I can't, I, 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 don't, I don't know if I'm going mad. I can't understand it anymore. What type of reasoning is this? Sheikh, their own Sheikh Gumi, one, is saying that they know the government, they know where they are. The journalist asked him, how come you know? They, he said the government knows. And they are not being bombed. You come to Olu to bomb or no? Hey, she naked. Let's listen to this again, please. Listen very carefully. Yeah. Where are these people? Who are you? Sheikh Gumi is able to trace this bandit to their hideout and meet with them. Why is it difficult for the Nigerian intelligence community or the Nigerian military to be able to know where these bandits are? They know. They know? <laughs> they know where they are. They see them by aerial views. They they have they have uh, intelligence among them. I've met I've met a hatman. I have I met a hatman who is is part of the internal security. They all know what the the problem. Are you people listening? I know headsmen who are part of Nigeria security system. You have headsmen in DSS, headsmen in military intelligence, headsmen in police, military ala in police. In the army. That is what Sheikh Gumi said. That they have headsmen as part of the intelligence set up in Nigeria. What type of Nigeria are you talking about? Some of you are, are I don't know. What type of Nigeria are you talking about? We are terrorists are part and parcel of the security intelligence architecture. Listen again, please. The military has learned its lesson. The first approach they had when they go in and start killing. Listen. They realize this is the wrong way. The wrong thing to do is when you see a bandit, don't kill him. That's what Shegumi is saying. That the government have now realized their mistakes. When they go before they were killing them, now they have realized their mistakes. Uh, they shouldn't. They, uh, they are no longer killing them. Are you listening? But you can come to Olo and bomb Olo. You can take our women from Olo and take them to to to, to the north. Put them in little bags every evening. One uncircumcised diseased beast will come and say, "Oh, bring me that uh, that uh, Yemeni woman. Bring that one. She's light skin. Bring her. They bring her, and they gang rape her. In the morning she will go back. The same the same underwear she has had on now for over two months. Are you listening to me? But those who are who are lawbreakers, killing and pillaging, the government are now saying we cannot attack them. We know where they are, but we cannot attack them. But we can attack anywhere we see in the anybody we see is IPOB, we attack them. And you're asking me to fold my hands and be watching and only praying. Is seriously is that what you think? Is that what you think? Some people are truly demented. They, realize they are producing a monster. They have realized they are producing a monster, and I'm telling them the same monster. Hey, something greater than the monster is being created in the east. In the east, what they are what they are going to get in the end is something greater than the monster. Keep killing people, policeman. You go, they order you to go shoot. You shoot. The day you will die, hope someone will not be there. The day you die, your commanding officer will not be beside you. You will die like a pig and your corpse will rot on the, on the roadside something deadlier than a beast is emerging from the east something deadlier than a beast 
That hell you people want on this earth, you will get it. That Armageddon you are looking for on this earth, all of you. Are, do you think am I am I listening? Do I look like somebody can come to me and be talking rubbish about let, let's mediate, let's move forward? Am I stupid? Do you think I'm daft? Look at the, they know where the murderers are. They know where the kidnappers are, but the government cannot do anything because in the past, the government tried to kill them. Now they've realized it's counterproductive, but you can come to Biafra land and kill people asking for a referendum. And you expect them to take it. God punish all of you in there and are useless idiots. You people are about to witness something. Now listen very carefully to what this idiot has to say. I'm studying and seeing how they come about it. The only element now I'm adding value to it is that look, don't just wait out. Just don't wait and watch. Go in and negotiate. So, I mean, if you look at what is happening now, now um, you see a situation where some military or security consultants who have told me and said, look, what we see in these bandits or what we see in these killer herders, mm -hmm. there's some kind of Boko Haram. Do you think that these killer herders or these militants as you call them as some form of Boko Haram or some element masquerading as bandits who are really Boko Haram. I can say categorically they are not Boko Haram but we have to be very careful because if the pressure is too much being Boko Haram more international more connected maybe richer if the pressure is too much I'm afraid they can be influenced by Boko Haram. And there we have seen the signs that Boko Haram's want to infiltrate them. But so far, they are not Boko Haram. If the pressure is much, in other words, uh, this, this gummy is threatening all of you, telling you if you keep killing bandits, then Boko Haram will take them over. You see, the thing about Nigeria and Nigerians is, is that they're, they're, they're not, <laughs> their brain is not correct. Nigerians, they know that it is not only Boko Haram. They know that in Nigeria you have what is called ISWAP, which is ISIS in West Africa province, funded by the late dead Buhari. Why do I say that? I, ISWAP or ISIS in West Africa is headed by the son of the founder of Boko Haram, Al Banawi. His name is Al Banawi, the son of Yusuf Muhammad, killed by the Nigerian state. That was why Boko Haram turned violent. That is the truth. Some of you are complaining about Boko Haram today. The same thing now happening to Biafras was happening to, to Boko Haram. They kept quiet until after a while they said enough is enough. That was why you had Boko Haram insurgency and militancy. That is the truth. The wickedness, hypocrisy of Nigerians was what led to Boko Haram becoming armed. Nigerians are heartless. They are wicked. Nigerians are evil. Now that they are blocking women from Biafra, all of you are quiet. Any day now we respond in like measure, you start yapping your rubbish as usual because you have no soul and no conscience. Now, ISWAP or uh, ISIS in West Africa is headed by Al Banawi. When Buhari came into power in 2015, I was going to court. In one of the court cases I was going to, I saw Al Banawi in court. But the order came from Asorok to dismiss his case. His case was dismissed. He was released. A killer and a murderer was released. Now, do you know why he was released? Now, Buhari tried to use Al Banawi to weaken the, the, the influence of Shekau. That was, if you remember them, the something they tried with us. They started saying, oh, Al, Al Qaeda, uh, sorry, uh, that, um, that um, uh, Boko Haram has been divided. Do you remember? Go and check it now that the leader of the new faction is Al Banawi. But of course, Shekau was very strongly rooted. The members were loyal to him. They knew the game they were playing. What was the problem? Buhari told Shekau to attack only Christian worship centers and the military formations. 